Hi, what's up? My name is Charlie. I have been hearing such amazing things about the 360 Fly 5-in-1 Hairbrush and Air Styler by WeChip. It comes in the cutest case, perfect for traveling, and features an automatic air curling iron with two wands, volumizer, round brush, and hair dryer. It is a five-piece styler. You have the different wand sets where the air will take it and wrap it around and it curls in different directions, which it's really optimal for the perfect curl. You have the smaller brush, round brush, and then you have a larger round brush here. And this is like curling apparatus and this is the hair dryer part. Not attached to the brush, it's just like in this little case here, but you could like take it out. You can take it out and uh, bear the hair brush with. So I feel like we should first start with large drawing brush, so let's give it a go. Before we start, I ran into a little bit of an issue that I want to, not really an issue, but something that I noticed that I think it's important to point out. So when you open really any device that looks like this, sometimes hair dryers have it, and you have the different color settings here. When you plug it in and you like test the settings, I don't know if anyone does that but me, but I'll test to see if it'll switch on or off just to be safe. When I plug this one in, it was off. So I just wanna share with anybody who may experience the same thing without even testing it on or off first, if you plug this in, make sure you hit the red button. Sometimes people may think it's common sense, but if you don't know, you just don't know. So when you plug it in and it doesn't work, try hitting this top red button first, and if not, do the other. I read the instructions so you guys don't have to, but it comes with two different strengths of settings of air and it comes with a cool shot. So if you look here on that top switch, you see there's three waves and there's two little waves and then you see it kind of looks like a plus sign but it's actually a fan. That's the cool shot. So basically how high you want the wind to blow through the actual setting. And then when you feel like the curl set in there, you switch it to this cool setting quickly and it'll give it that cool shot. So instead of you having to hold the curl, you have it, the styler that will literally do it all for you. The second setting is whether you want like, I think low heat or higher heat. I know I mentioned this earlier, but from everything I've heard and also just with high quality styling products like this, I think it's really important to make sure that the hair is damp. I know that it can work with dry hair also, but it just doesn't hold the curl as well. Not just this styler, but really any styling product or any device that you're using high heat on your hair, it's just not gonna hold the curl unless it's somewhat damp. So I keep a water bottle on deck because I'm not always styling my hair when it's fresh out the shower. So or I'm gonna dampen my hair and go through and just make sure that the ends are slightly wet. We'll start with the curling wand and one thing while my hair is still in its damp state I want to mention is I've made this mistake with other styling products but I've learned and I'm gonna help you guys learn too but when you find the tool and you stick it on the apparatus you naturally have the instinct to want to just put it on and twist but one thing I've noticed, and it's the same for this styling tool, is when you put the device on, there's some settings here where it's locked and unlocked that you want to put the device on, take it by the actual trim of the settings, and twist it. So now, it's locked. See that? And now it's good to go hair that you get in the sizes of the passes you're going through, the less time the curl will hold. So I'm going with just a small amount of hair, nothing too crazy, and the, the styling wands actually come with arrows that will tell you the directions that the curl is going which is super helpful if I forget. That means I know like what direction I need to turn it on and what's gonna go what. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take my comb and this is going that way, which means the hair is gonna wrap around it and go this direction. So. setting, it's 
on the cool spot now. We're gonna turn up the heat and it should just wrap around. So let's, I put my hair on here and sometimes some extra will get in there, but wow. And once I give it a few seconds, I'll switch to the cool shot. Let it blow some cool air for a few seconds. Turn this off and let it go. Wow. Yeah, and now I'll do the whole head. Fried after. 
no styling products, no styling creams, no serums, no nothing. This side's still damp because we're gonna take the smaller brush and go through and see how it compares. But this side is done and we are a fan. Fresh, like, blowout look. Okay, we're going through with the small bass. I've got the smaller round brush on. And let's give it a go. It's got a lot of power also. So just for example, let me just. <sighs> it's got a lot of power. So that's awesome. The others were absolutely incredible, especially the blow dryer. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this super helpful, quick and easy tutorial for the 360 Fly 5-in-1 High Speed Hair Dryer by Weed Chip. You can't beat it for the price. And if you want high quality curls with a premium styler that's not going to fry your hair up, it's versatile, so not only does it come with a dryer, but it also comes with different styling tools that can help you get a curl outer ways or just in bangs that flip under or, um, sorry, ends of hair that flip over or bangs, then this 360 Fly 5-in-1 High Speed Hair Dryer by Weechip is your go-to. Thank me later, 10 out of 10 would totally recommend.